hello again and as you know when people get stuck at home doing nothing you look for things to do so I've been going through going right what's a good thing for me to review so I've pulled out yet another dungeon thing this is the uh, giant book of battle mats uh, that's by lock battle mats uh, retails on their website for just under 33 pounds now size wise this is an a3 a3 book and it's spiral bound so you can lay it out to either flat so that you can get like an a2 like an a2 sized or you can fold it right over and just play on the one a3 sized so i will have some uh, pictures of the uh, different uh, kinds of terrain that you get in there now pros and cons of this kind of product i do like that it's um, wiped clean so you can annotate on it it's really easy to carry around and just uh, sling, sling it in your bag and you've got a lot of uh, built-in dungeon environments and where i've got a problem with this is obviously anything that's pre-printed and pre-made you are stuck with what they give you so uh, for an example let's have let's have a look in this okay right so there's a town scene here that's really good if you just need to pull up a random town but again if you're working with pre-purchased pre-purchased stuff it's not ever going to match that's what you've what you've got here so uh, to give an to give an example say you're running the D&D starter set Lost Minor Fandelva and you want to go to Cragmore Castle oh well, um, now there is a castle in here which I'm just uh, which I'm just looking for for now so you know it's broadly it's broadly similar in that it's a squarish keep with round towers but it's not going to match things exactly so it does mean that you might have to do a little bit more work sort of like go all right so that encounters you know shift it shift it between here here and here and there it's not insurmountable but you know it's never going to be as good as as sort of like having it so yeah um one of the options is is you could you could scan them you could scan them you could scan a map per uh, app uh, print print it out laminate but not everyone's got access to that so something like this uh, might might be handy i mean where this does come into its own is if you are running a homebrew stuff then you're not really constrained by that which is published you can go right all right i'll use that i'll take that as the inspiration and for for this encounter that's the kind of terrain that i want i will base my maps around that and so you know it's it's fairly good value for money money uh, one of the other minor niggles that i've got and you know is on, only a minor thing they do them in various sizes is they also do the big book of battle maps which is a4 expandable to a3 now what they don't tell you is that a lot of the images repeat over the two books just smaller sections of them so bear that bear that in mind it's probably not worth your while buying a bit the big book of battle maps and the giant book of battle maps that's but you know obviously your mileage which may vary but i didn't actually i, I found that out so i've now got <laughs> I've now got two, two kind of copies of, of that. But you know that that's all that's all very well. Uh, I can make you I can make use of them. But yeah, so we'll cut away from this, and I'll show you the uh, kind of maps that you're going to get with this book. <laughs> 